Welcome back to AlgoJS. Today's question is leak code 323, number of connected components in an undirected graph. So in this question, you're given a graph of n nodes. You are given an integer n and an array edges, where edges equals a, b, indicates that there is an edge between a and b in the graph. Return the number of connected components in the graph. So this question is pretty intuitive, right? Uh, we need to work out the number of connected uh, components within the graph, right? And within this solution or within this example here, we have two connected components. We have a 0, 1, 2, and three and four, right? So this right here is one connected component, but then we have another connected component here because there is a disjoint between the two, okay? So there is two here and we just need to return that output. So we need to return the count of the number of components here, which is two. So let's discuss how we would solve this problem. With this graph, we are going to be using depth first search. And it's a simple case of keeping a count variable, which initially will be set to zero, and the most difficult part is deciding how we're going to run this DFS. So we need to run it on a particular section of information, which we don't have at this point in time. So we have edges up here, which at this moment is pretty useless. So what we can do is convert this into an adjacency list, right? And what this is going to do is it's for every node within this graph, it's going to point to its neighbors. So each node is going to be the key and the neighbors are going to be the edges or the neighbors are going to be the values, right? So in this adjacency list, we're going to have something that looks like this. We're going to have a zero, which points to one. We're going to have one, which points to zero and two, two, which points to one, three, which points to four and four, which points to three. Great, so we have made this adjacency list. Now what we can do is with DFS is we can loop through the keys of this adjacency list. So what's going to happen is we're going to loop through the key. So we're going to start off at zero. We're going to look at his neighbors, which is one. With one, we're going to look at his neighbors, which at this moment in time is two and zero. And as you can see right here, we have an issue. We're going back to zero. So we need something like a visited set, which is going to store each node we visit so that we don't go back and create some kind of infinite loop. So at zero, at the first point, we are going to check whether this node is within visited. If it is, we're just going to return because we have already visited this one. But in this case, it's not. So we can add it into the visited set and then we can check the neighbors. So we can repeat this process, right? So we can go to one. So we're at one now. We check the neighbors or actually first, we check if it's within visited. It's not, so we can add it to the visited set. We check its neighbors. It goes back to, it goes back to zero. Zero is within visited. So that can be canceled. We can just return that. And then we go down to two, right? So we check two, two is not in visited, so we add it. Now we go back to one because one is a neighbor, one is in visited, so that gets canceled. And now we have finished the DFS on two. So we can return one as a count, right? So we can return one up here. This will return one to zero. And the DFS on this is going to be equal to one. So we just append that to count. So we increment count to one. Then as we said, we're looping through these keys. So we go over to one, we check one. One is within visited, so we can just return out of that. Two, again, is within visited, so we can hop out of that. Three, we start the DFS on three. So we check if that's in visited. It's not, so we can add it. Check its neighbors, so go to four. Four is not in visited, so add it. Check the neighbors, so we go back to three. Three is in visited, so that gets canceled. And then we're at the end of the DFS function at four, four. So we can return one to three, and then that can return one. So the DFS function of this connected component right here is going to be one as well. So we can append that to count. And then we have to loop through four. So we go to four, we realize that's in the visited set. So we hop out of that, don't return anything, don't increment count. Then we have visited each key within the adjacency list, and we can just return count. Pretty straightforward question. Time complexity for this one is going to be O, E plus V because we have to traverse through each edge exactly once. And again, we have to visit each vertice exactly once. And space is also going to be OE plus V because building the adjacency list is going to take E operations. And also with DFS, you use the recursive call stack, which is going to be V. So let's initialize count to zero. Let's initialize the kind of adjacency list, which we'll call graph. And we'll initialize each value within that graph to an empty array before populating it. So i is equal to zero, i is less than n, i plus plus, and then graph at i is equal to an empty array. Then we just need to loop through uv of edges. 
So graph at u, push the neighbor of v. Graph at v, push the neighbor of u. And remember, this is an undirected graph, so we have to push in both neighbors in both directions. So u has to push in v, v has to push in u. Then we create the visited set. So visited equals new set. And as we said in the explanation, we have to loop through the keys of the adjacency list. So key in graph, which will get us the keys. And we increment to count DFS of key. DFS of key. So let's create the DFS function. So DFS is going to take in node. We're going to check if visited has node. If it does, we can just return zero, right? Because that's already a visited set. We've already visited it. So we don't have to look through this again. So we can just return zero. So otherwise, we need to add the node to visited. So visited dot add, and we're going to add node. Then we need to loop through the neighbors of graph of the adjacency list at position node, and then DFS the neighbors. Once that's occurred, we can return one. Now there is a little gotcha in this question, and that is that if we loop through the keys of the adjacency list of graph, these are going to be in string, so we need to convert it to an integer. So key is going to be equal to pass int key, because otherwise visited is not going to recognize node, which is going to be a string. Okay, so we need to convert it to an integer in order so that we can increment count and the DFS runs correctly. And then finally, we can just return count. Okay, let's give that a run. Let's submit it. And there you go. 